what are the situations that you think that narcissists are afraid of? Have you seen narcissists being afraid? I'm going to show you 10 things that narcissists are afraid of. 10. Rejection To be accepted and liked by others, the narcissist frequently adopts a mask. They refuse to believe that their egoistic personality can alienate others. If someone chooses to leave the narcissist's life, he will take it personally and do everything he can to recapture that person. They'll most likely start slandering their former pal if they don't succeed. The reason for this is that beneath the narcissist's false attitude is a terrified little soul that is terrified of not being good enough but would never say it out loud. They'll also certainly go to any length to keep their excellent name. Have you seen anyone who is afraid of being rejected? 9. Failure Narcissists are scared of failing or losing their dominance. They simply cannot comprehend that there is someone out there who is superior to them. Furthermore, if a narcissist fails to achieve their goal, he or she will always point the finger at someone else, even though the failure is clearly their fault. They frequently blame their closest friends and family members for their failure. This is the only way to make themselves feel better about their failure. Did you see a narcissist who failed to do what he or she wants in life? 8. Shame Shame is unpleasant for everyone, but for the narcissist, it is terrifying. The main reason is that humiliation might harm his reputation and lower his social standing. Because narcissists thrive on being liked, and pride is so essential to them, doing something that would make them seem bad in others' eyes or make them feel ashamed is one of their worst nightmares. Have you seen narcissists who felt shame afterwards? 7. Getting their lies called out Narcissists are notorious for lying or exaggerating facts to make themselves appear more strong or impressive. They also do it to feel better about themselves and their social standing. As a result, it's clear that exposing a narcissist's lies and exaggerations is one of his or her greatest anxieties. It's not only that being called out would embarrass them or make them appear less than who they are, it also displays how weak and insecure they are to the rest of the world. Because narcissists believe the world revolves around them, it brings their entire constructed universe crumbling down around them and a part of them knows they're stretching the truth as they spin their own lies and exaggerations about their own achievements. And they become exceedingly concerned about the prospect of someone detecting their lies once they begin saying them. 6. Remorse Feeling Another characteristic quality of narcissism is the inability to feel guilty. They don't just refuse to display guilt because they can't feel it. They intentionally refuse to feel it. This adamant denial of feeling awful about damaging others suggests a great deal of concern. It's a total denial of responsibility. And what is it about remorse that they are so terrified of? It's easy to understand. Guilt is viewed as a sign of weakness by them. They see guilt as a sign of weakness and emotional fragility. And being in a state of sadness exposes you to that vulnerability. The most basic form of remorse is admitting that you have committed a mistake. For egotistical and arrogant people like narcissists, this is unthinkable. In addition, it can be a considerable source of stress. Remorse is also a means of apologizing for self-aggrandizing people with narcissistic tendencies, which is unfathomable. The chances of narcissists feeling remorse is 0%. 5. 
public humiliation. When a narcissist thinks he's losing face or failing at anything in front of an audience, he goes through a lot of mental anguish and cognitive dishonesty. Failure of any form is unbearable to narcissists, and the worst type of failure is public humiliation. A narcissist's ego is sensitive, and it may be extremely painful when he perceives he is being laughed at or losing respect from others. When the narcissist's ego is destroyed, the narcissist's only shield against the world is shattered. And when that shield is shattered, narcissists frequently respond in ways that appear out of proportion to ordinary people's situations. Unfortunately, because a narcissist's ego is already inflated, self-improvement is never a priority in their relationships. Their personal judgment of their worth and value shows that they have made significant progress and accomplishments. They don't understand why their partner is unhappy with their actions or the relationship. They react to their partner's displeasure with terror because they are so out of touch with the realities of relationships. 4. Abandonment and Rejection Narcissists are scared of rejection or abandonment. That's why they become upset and threaten and punish you if you threaten to leave them, then love bomb you if you do. When you reject a narcissist, you're rejecting the phony persona they've diligently built to impress you. Rejecting that false self takes away their entire reason for life. Because any actual self they may have left is absolutely unavailable to them, and a false self is completely dependent on the praise and attention of others, which it feeds like a vampire. Rejecting a narcissist forces them to face their inner emptiness, which they find terrifying. They'll fight tooth and nail to keep it from happening, even if it means annihilating you in the process. 3. Gratitude Feeling Another emotion that narcissists loathe and fear is gratitude. Gratitude like grief is another feeling viewed as a sign of weakness by narcissists. To the narcissist, gratitude is effectively turning over power to others. It's when you realize you owe someone money. It also necessitates accepting the idea that you may have needed help from others. Narcissistic people perceive themselves as all-powerful beings who are far superior to others. Accepting that someone else has aided them in some ways brings them back to reality. The fact that they received something they needed from someone else not only puts them on par with others, but it also makes them feel weaker and lower on the social ladder. And this is one of the narcissistic man's key concerns. 2. Exposure When the false lives of narcissists are exposed, they become outraged. They may show their fury by giving you the silent treatment or gaslighting you, or they may hide it. They despise being held accountable for what they do to others because it requires them to admit that they aren't perfect. It also implies that they must recognize another person's humanity, something they are unable to do. Narcissists are well aware of their defects, but only on a subconscious level, and their coping method is to project them onto others. As a result, a narcissist can accuse you of being narcissistic or abusive. They're also good at convincing others to disagree with you and those people become their flying monkeys. They'll accuse you of doing things that they've already done, and everyone will believe them rather than you. 1. Being ignored This should be self-evident. Ignoring a narcissist is equivalent to depriving them of all supply, and without narcissistic supply, the narcissist will die slowly. He, on the other hand, believes they will. That is why some narcissists would rather be scorned than ignored. Negative attention is still attention, and it acknowledges their presence at the very least. Being ignored is as terrible to a narcissist as being dead. 
They've given up hope in their ability to survive without your help. Have you seen a narcissist being ignored? So which of the things mentioned do you think is the narcissist afraid of? Have you seen them having these experiences? Did you let your narcissistic partner or friend experience these feelings? What topics of narcissistic relationships interest you the most? Do you have topics you want us to cover? Tell us in the comments below.